Welcome everyone to Game Latte. Today I'm going to record some Final Fantasy XIV for you guys. Instead of playing this live, I'm just going to record it and put it together. This is the in quest with Hildebrand. And the problem with, you know, playing this uh, live is that you have to wait to, um, to log in and, and log back out. And it takes a little bit of time for the new quest um, line to kick in. So if you've been watching my live stream, you know what I'm talking about. So now that I'm I'm logging back in through the inn, so in my bed, so I should be waking up right now and we should be getting a cutscene. So and the brand new quest. And then the next time uh, once you see this you'll have it all together. So because I'm recording this with Bandcam. Here you go. So I'm sleeping. <laughs> Oh, Dalamid's falling down from the sky. What? What's happening? My beloved Axe, she's gone. Gone, I tell you. What is it? What's the commotion? God, don't tell me the weapon thief has struck again. Where in the seven hells is that investigator fellow when you need him? It's all well and good. He's disguising himself as an ordinary citizen in order to shadow his quarry. But how are we supposed to find him in emergencies? Asayali, impeccable timing as ever. The notorious weapon thief has come to Gridania. It said he's been sighted in the vicinity of the Acorn Orchard. Orchard? Orchard? We have an investigator on the case, a professional, but no one knows where he is at the moment. Do you think you could take a look around in his stead, keeping an eye out for suspicious persons? It all puts our minds at rest. Of course. Oh, thank you. Perfect. So this will be awesome. So when you view this video on my page, it would all be as one. As one. Oh my. Oh, I should turn off the uh, my speaker. Oh, I hope that didn't interfere too much. I don't think so. All right. In plain sight. There it is. So we go all the way there. The oak atrium. Tree. The lag seems to be not bad today. It's pretty good actually. Oh, spoke too soon. Somewhere around here. Oh, nope, keep going. Oh, what's going to happen now? <laughs> Gowan, you rascal, you devil. Um, it's gonna be the guy I'm gonna talk to, right? Hmm. But it's not the exclamation, dude. So we meet again. I grow weary of this game. Well, 
You may question me all you like, but my answer will ever be the same. I've been at this very spot the entire day. Ask any of the locals, and they will tell you as much. Not convinced? All right, you recall the oaf who was hired to shadow me, yes? Well, I, I will make no comment on this <clears throat> unique, unique new pastime, and say only that he, too, will most assuredly testify in my favor. I trust that will be sufficient. Good. Okay. Oh, what do you see here? The man standing over by that tree? He's been here for ages. He's got a lot of friends and they visit him sometimes. You can tell it's them because they always wear the same red clothes. Ha! Huh. They were here again just yesterday. One of them said something about meeting at Heck Waters. Maybe that's where they play together? <laughs> Heck Waters? Oh, there's a kitten girl, Nashu. Oh, where could the specter be? When last we spoke, he said he had a mind to go deep undercover for the case. But his disguises are perfect. If he's already in one, I shall never find him. Sigh. Well, I see only children here. I suppose I'll tr I try looking elsewhere. Hmm, I wonder if you can find him. Oh, there he is. That was never a good disguise. He's wearing a mask. Hmm, in spite of my infallible disguise, I fear the suspect may not have taken me fully into his confidences. I must endear myself still further if I am to. Oh ha! What business have you with me, a law-abiding carpenter of nondescript appearance, here to inspect this excellent facility? Rest assured, I am satisfied that the apparatuses here assembled from the finest woods. No child shall suffer from pleasant splinters here. Carry on, citizen. Right, good try. Nice try. Back to the end we go. Okay, so wonder, do we have to... Oh, we probably have to go to Limsa now. No? To court of back at the boost. Okay, fine. There she is. Small talk, complain, sight. I've eagerly awaited your return, Sayali. Tell me, were you able to locate our suspect? So, Gawain has been there for some time, Hattie. He must have known he was being followed. I can't say I'm entirely surprised. At any rate, it's heartening to know that you, at least, were able to learn something new. So, our thief has accomplices and a secret lair besides. That certainly explains why he never fails to have an alibi. But I do wonder, why go to such pains to steal individual weapons instead of the occasional adventurer? Wouldn't it make more sense to target weaponsmiths and merchants? Well, if I knew the answer to that question, I suppose I'd be on the way to becoming a criminal myself. Anyway, with you on the case, at Wager, it's only a matter of time before the operation is exposed and the case duly closed. How would I say that? Operation? Operation? The rolling R's? Operation? <laughs> that doesn't quite quite work. Anywho. So, it's log out via the bed menu in the inn. 
at the mice and mouse inn while in possession. Okay, so yes, I do actually have to go. To Limsa, so we're gonna go to Limsa and do it. Do that. And log out on the bed there. I'm level 12, Gladiator. I'm doing awesome. I have a few levels, 15, and then I can unlock White Mage. Yeah. Probably gonna do a live stream either tomorrow night or on the weekend about Final Fantasy 14, and I'll be doing the White Mage quest. Maybe. I'll see what's involved in that. Um, well, I'll do the quest for sure, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to do the relic. I think it's pretty difficult. I might need some help <laughs> to do it. Which means I won't be doing it now. I'll do it after Rail Reborn is released. Oh, and then we go to the end. I really do like Limsa Lumensa. It's such a pretty city. But I'm not a big fan of all the pirates, pirate talk, or whatever. And I chose Gridania because I always love trees above anything else. Although I would like um, a jungle area. That would be pretty cool. As opposed to just a forest area. I think the end is right there. Okay, let's go. There we go. Mightinson, private us. Okay. In room, secondary, let's just go to retire. Thank you. That's actually a little question mark, it's pretty cool. Oh, happy dodo. Okay, we'll see you guys back in a little while. Here we are. Still sleeping. Open up, open up. Dalamud's finally gone and toppled head first from the sky. <laughs> They're just trying to get us to get up. Gahaha, ha. how'd you go in there, hey? Dana worry, lassie. The moon's bigger than ever, but she ants move and ilm. Well, not, if I can't say that. <laughs> well, that's what I've noticed anyway. Still, I bet you're wondering what in the seven hells could have dragged your old mate Mightens into the spacious yet affordable room of yours. Well, the thing is, I hear tell that the Kudas have finally found the hidey hole of Gowan the Gannet and his motley band of weapon thieves. Now, I suppose one might sit back and let the authorities see to such matters all official like, but what if a certain innkeeper also knew the whereabouts of said hidey hole and was willing to bestow that information on a certain customer who just so happened to be standing in the same well appointed room as said innkeeper? Would she be interested, I wonder? Of course. Kenji was a bright one. Now the thieves are holed up to the northwest of Camp, Camp Bearded Rock. I'd hurry, though. Oh, you'll find yourself splitting that reward with some undeserving Kuda. Nice. Alright, so here we are. We're gonna go to Bearded Rock. Let's teleport there. Oh, we're in La Nocia. Bearded Rock.
Now, I don't know if I should keep as my current class, which is Gladiator, if I should go to my, my high-level class, my Conjurer. But I think this should be a pretty easy mission to everyone, so I don't think that would be necessary. Okay, let's check out our journal, see where we're supposed to go, 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 paradise. Okay, so right there, to the east, let's get going, let's go. Take a chocobo or a group, let's do chocobo. I prefer the chocobo, even though the song kind of annoys me a little bit <laughs> sometimes. Are we going the right way? Yes. Anastasia is so pretty. A lot of flowers. All the areas are really pretty. I can't wait to see what they look like in the new version. I'm sure, they'll be even prettier. So, down here. Down here? Oh, I see. We we'll probably have to go down on the other side. I think I took my chocobo because I hate walking around and stuff. <gasps> when I didn't have a chocobo, this was painful trying to find hidey holes and little caves. The chocobo is a lot faster. Here we are. Ah. Found it! I hope I don't get my butt whipped. <laughs> I'll do another recording if I have to. Bertrand. Bertrand. Here for the Gene, are we? Well, you just missed him, bastard, slip right through our fingers. We we're able to apprehend one of his dog's bodies, but even our patent brand of persuasion has yielded naught. Now that I'm surprised, these Red Moon Consortium cronies are a stubborn lot. And that's putting it mildly. I've interrogated, interrogated eh, more cooperative rocks. The Red Moon Consortium, is that's what they call themselves, eh? You are welcome to continue the search on your own if it suits you. One of my men spotted a set of tracks heading northwest, but the trail disappeared after half a mom. Alright. Oh, that was it. Oh, that was easy. All right, up there. Nice. Am I going the right way? I'm not going the right way. <laughs> nope. Turn around. Turn around. Oh, that wasn't the right way either. Oh, jeez. Turn myself around. Round, around we go. I didn't think I went that far inside. That was weird.
keep going. Okay, if I want to aggro anything too large that might try to eat us. We are not very powerful in this class, so we need level 12. There we are. Loading. Come on. Coffee's getting dry over here. <laughs> Pretty. Oh, windy. <laughs> here you are. Hey, old friend. I was beginning to wonder when you would show yourself. Played my shadow for quite some time now. Tell me, should I frightened, be frightened or flattered? Hmm. I thought answers you seek regarding the missing weapons. Then yes, twas I who stole them. Though I preferred the word reclaim. Man cannot steal that which was rightfully his to begin with. After all. Ah, but I've gotten ahead of myself. War will do that to a man, cause him to rush blindly into the dark, afraid that every moment. And this world might be his last. Tis the fate which became my dear father not fifteen summers past. Hmm. A poor old blacksmith he was, with scarce enough coin to keep his forge lit, let alone his children fed, that is, until the Garlean invasion of El Amigo. Believe he had a chance to free his family from a life in penury. He began forging blades as at a fever pitch. For ten solid days and ten solid nights, he worked as if bedeviled by the mighty builder himself, until the eleventh day when he collapsed, never to rise again. Oh, but the twelve were not yet finished with us, for the very next morning a party of assessors, working under orders from the Coral Tower, came and confiscated every last weapon my father had made, telling us only that they were to be distributed to the foreign levy, adventurers, for use in battle with the Empire. I merely seek to reclaim those items which were wrested from my family without proper recompense. Surely one such as you can sympathize with my plight, you whose comrades were armed at my expense. And if not, well, at least you showed the common decency to listen to that plight while my colleagues surrounded both you and yours. Good day, my friend. <laughs> I'm alone, though. Uh oh. Ah! <laughs> what? <laughs> you! You're the knave who's been lording around my men for the past moon, masquerading as one of us. <laughs> knave, this scurvy barnacle here? Just to the word, governor, and I shall give this undoubted scrag a jolly good trashing. Not him, you imbecile, you! Avast, governor! Why ever would you think me a knave? Do I not look every part the minion? Are my eyes not shifty, my hair tussled, my speech slurred? Look the part you are without the most poorly disguised imposter I've seen in all my days. A great buffalo would seem less conspicuous in the armoral stage room than you do here. And stop calling me governor. No one calls me governor, not even my own men. And so the game is up. A pity. Though I must admit, you have quite a keen eye, Gowan. Few are they who can claim to have pardoned my myriad veils of illusion. <laughs> Very well, you shall know who it was that so subtly whatever. Guess it was I, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire. You will have heard the bard sing of my exploits, I'm sure. Cannot say I have, but I'm certain they'll be quick to pen an ode re recalling your untimely demise at the hands of one Gowan the Gannet. Boys, would you kindly escort the good inspector to the cliffs? But what, you are apprehended. I am willing to discuss this. You seem to be harboring a great deal of anger. Perhaps a hot cup of tea will help you to relax. I believe I have some here in my bag. Uh, 
Inspector, is that you? Inspector! <laughs> you sound like the inspector, but you don't look like the inspector. Did you eat the inspector? Are you in there, inspector? Wow. No, no, shoots me. I'm in disguise. It's all over, Gowan. Tell you red mood thugs to throw down their weapons at once. Seven hells. Don't you all have a war to attend to? <laughs> No, no, wait, there's been a misunderstanding. You see, I'm not really one of them. I was merely pretending to be. That I might learn their secrets and... Oh, dear. Mummy! What? <laughs> Mummy! My nice shuttle came in there. Oh, I don't have to fight. Sweet! Ah. We're not for my, let us call it what it is, a genius in the field of disguise, which ultimately bought the yellow jacket sufficient time to deduce the Gannett's whereabouts. I fear that you might have met with a rather unfortunate end. No, no, shh, I require no thanks. I merely did what any world-renowned solver of mysteries would have done were he faced with the same unique set of circumstances. The realm waxes rife with peril as Dalmed creeps ever closer, and a man must rise to defend those who cannot defend themselves. It is my fate to be that man, and though it may prove my end, I shall not spurn it for Eorzea. <laughs> Ahem, now then, before I take my leave, there is something about you that seems awfully familiar. It is as if our paths have crossed somewhere, sometime, perhaps in a previous life. <sighs> Though I suppose we'll never know where or when it was exactly. I'm not too humble to admit that there are some cases which lie beyond the capacity of even the sharpest of salutes. Good day, ma'am. Right. Well, that was a lot of fun. Okay, so I've checked. And there is another quest called, it's called Mysteries of the Red Mood, it is level 20, so we're gonna have to change for that. And we're gonna go, we have to go back to the Gold Court in Alda. So that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> I lost my pants! I was losing my pants when I do that. Well, it doesn't really matter about this stuff. Oh, wait, am I missing? I am. Oh, you got that. That's okay. Alright. Let's go back to Alda. Oh, what? Teleport. Funnel on. Alda. Okay, so we are in Alda right now. I just skipped through some of, of uh, it's still happening. The walk from the Aetherite to here because it was just so laggy because people, everybody hangs out here and it's just a big mess and the server isn't very good. So anyway, but I have my coffee now. I'm all ready to do. So they have a quest for us. If not, then we'll probably just have to wait and then come back tomorrow. But, ooh, ooh, looks like there's an exclamation mark, quest mark. It looks good. Awesomeness. Yes. 
I'm a Lady Sayali. Might you be interested in a mutually adventurous proposition? Allow me to explain. A short while ago, our establishment was graced with the patronage of a reporter investigating the mystery of Delamant. Hardly newsworthy in itself, I concede. But listen on. After pers pursuing his story for some days, the fellow was observed to stumble from his room and quit our establishment, leaving his notebook behind. Now I should imagine an adventurer would be more than a little curious to peruse his reporter's findings, curiosity being a quality common to the members of said profession. And if an uh, yes, adventurer would come to looking for the forgotten notebook, declaring herself to be acting upon the reporter's request, then I would be obliged to grant her access to the vacated room. Ooh. Bring it. Good madam, how fortunate how fortunate is it that I choose to confide in you? The reporter's chambers are just as he left them. Simply say the word and I shall take you there. And should the secrets you find within happens to be worth a gill or two to the newspaper peddler as well, I should not be averse to pocketing precisely half of the profits. <laughs> really now. Allow me to show you the room in question. Do try to be discreet. Oh, I guess you... Do we have to retire then? Or... No? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Where are we going? Oh. Oh, there's another adventure in here. We're not alone. You discover what appears to be some sort of notebook. Opportunity. I have been assigned the Dalamid story. This may prove a most fortunate opportunity when it comes to the Red Moon. The citizenry is afar with equal parts fear and curiosity. If I can pierce this veil of mystery, my name shall be on the lips of every last nobleman and tavern dweller in Erosia. Interviews. Taking to the streets, I conducted interviews with members of the populace. When asked for the thoughts on the changes that Dalamid has undergone in recent days, a notable majority responded that the moon seemed to them to be growing larger. If my own senses are to be credited, I too would swear that Dalamid swells with each passing day. My chest tightens at the thought of what may betide Eorzea when it reaches maturity. Research. A scholar of Ishgard, termed an authority on the movements of celestial bodies, answered my queries with her theory that Dalamid grew nearer rather than larger. Such a possibility seems fanciful, to say the least, as if to confirm my doubts, the scholar was unable to support her claims with anything approaching solid evidence. I fear she may be courting controversy in an attempt to win, win fame. As things stand, I shall consider myself fortunate if my article makes page three, days of groundwork and, and so little to show for it. Defeat. Exhausted and footsore, a pause to rest outside the as mm, Arzeneth ossuary. That is where I encountered a most unusual character, reciting a most peculiar poem. Though I listened with but half an ear, one phrase in particular lodged itself in my mind and now refuses to depart. Heaven's few crimson flame. Could this crimson flame refer to the red moon? The words evoke cat catastrophic images, almost as if the end of days were upon us. Dear me, am I a child to be frightened by a stranger's grim bedtime stories? Shall I next pray for a hero to deliver us from our ghastly fate? Perhaps my senses are muddled from too much pondering and too little sleep. Though it pains me to admit defeat, I believe it is time to cease this fruitless search for answers and make my way home. No. So they went home. Leave this place. That was interesting. So it seems that science isn't really all that still in advance in our yeah, they don't understand how planets and celestial bodies work. Of course if it looks like it's going growing larger then it is getting nearer. <laughs> That's kinda cool. He did it like that. Red Moon has been updated in your journal. Uh, so what now?
I see. Unusual character. Alright. Now I'm going to change my... I hope I don't regret this. I'm going to change back to Gladiator because... I really don't think this is going to happen. That looks silly. Oh, whoops. I need my shield. We're gonna go this way. Is reciting these poems. Thaumaturge Guild. There we go. Perfect. Perfection. Never to land, consume sun, can see bare moons, heavens spew crimson flame, hell seep black dooms. Stray seeds quicken in ashes gray embrace, valiant blades forge under the twelve's good grace. <laughs> so these are the famous verses of prophecy. Their cryptic words fairly reek with the scent of an unsolved case. And we cannot, of course, forget the man of mystery himself. You are the enigmatic prophet of whom the rumors speak. Are you not, Master Hori Anger? Hori Anger? <laughs> Come here what thou wilt. It is of no matter. I will speak the prophecy, for crimson flames set scarlet fire, if thou list. The path of fate remaineth ever unaltered. Hori Anger. Hmm, crimson flame, you say. Can it be? Do you speak of the red moon of Delamid? Are you hinting at some ominous change taking place beneath its celestial surface? Do the words of prophecy hold the key to solving the case of the ever-expanding moon? Yes! I see now why you have come to, to me, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire. I have the right of it. Do I not, Master Yearly Anchor? <laughs> I would speak the prophecy. These verses, which thou termest key, serve as a warning and rousing call both. Ah, my dear Master Holy Ranker! <laughs> I see you fear this case unsolvable. Well, you need not fret. For I, Hildebrand, Inspector Extraordinaire, have never yet encountered a riddle beyond my reasoning. No case is too complicated, no mystery too mysterious. I shall, by which I mean to say, my associate and I, shall divine the truth that lurks within these foreboding phrases. Sayali, my fine and faithful assistant, what luck that we should meet here upon this day! And we both know what a man that a man of my prodigious talents always engineers such seeming serendipity. Glad to have you aboard. Here is your copy of the verses in question. Oh, do not look so overwhelmed, dear Sayali. I do not truly expect you to break the code. No, no. I merely mean to nurture your fledging instinct for detection. Rest assured, I shall be bringing my nut and considerable intellect to bear upon the task. When I unravel the secrets of the prophecy, you shall be the first to hear of it. We cannot let this lunar madness spell our doom. Time to pull up our bootstraps and sally forth for Mother Eorzea. Oh my gosh, what a silly man. <laughs> Alright, well it's complete. Oh, where do we go now? That was cool. It was nice to see your ranger again. You do see him in the main quest line. I want to go through this the main scenario. 
So that was fun that they have that they included him yet again. I'm just gonna go check the inn, see if there's anything else going on. Oh wait, I have something. The unsealed memoriantium, what is that? Of course I've got like so much stuff. Oh, go down my inventory. I know my bag is full. I wish we had a bag like they do in Lotro. Wait, you can have a bag in your bag. It's just for not actually do anything. It's just you know to role play kind of, but it's fun. You pawn this rolled slip of parchment to scroll the seventh verse of Messiah Thousand Eyes Divine Chronicles. I must. It must mean that I have to log out through my in room again. I imagine. Well, we're gonna try it. Oh, 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 maybe not. I see quest mode. Prophecy inspection. Oh yeah, I do. Okay, so log out via the bed menu from an in any of the city states while in possession of an unsealed memorandum. So that's what we're gonna do. Alright. So this is not over yet, guys. Not over. Oh wait, oh, I just did that. Silly silly pants. Thanks, dude. Alright, so that's it, guys, uh, for today. Anyway, I will see you back tomorrow, which for you will just be blink of an eye. Alright, here we are for the rest of this quest line with the very hilarious Hildebrand. Expector and extraordinaire, extraordinaire. <laughs> oh, what's this, Sally? Yes. Wake up, Sally. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sally, you must arise at once. It is I, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, here to bring you the perfect start to this fine new day. Oh my goodness, this is kind of creepy. <laughs> 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 what the heck? <laughs> oh dear. Morning. I have done it. I've cracked the code of the prophetic verses. And just as I promised, I have come to deliver the momentous news in person. In short, after much painstaking study, I have discovered that the key to preventing the calamity hinted at in the first stanza is stated plain as day in the second. And that's good, I guess. Stray seeds quicken in ashes gray embrace. Valiant blades forge under the twelve's good grace. The clue lies in the phrase, va Valiant blades forge under the twelve's good grace. A valiant blade, if I may presume to use the singular, Unquestionably refers to a heroic swordsman. Does the simple beauty of it not astound you? We need only find the hero destined to halt Thalamid's unnatural growth, and Eorzea will be saved. The meaning of the prophecy was staring us in the face all along. If the current condition of the Red Mood is any indication, it seems our hero has yet to awaken to his calling. It stands to reason, then, that I, Hildebrand, Inspector Extraordinaire, must flush out this unknown warrior and set his feet on the path to herodom. Our next step is to divine the location of said savior. Returning to analysis of the prophecy, one notes the importance of the words stray seeds, and where, pray tell, might one expect to find an abundance of seeds, why, in a field, of course! If memory serves and mine has yet to fail me, it seems to recall 
buying a magnificent pumpkin patch by the coffer and coffin, not far from Camp Horizon. Ah, it shall be good to revisit the site of one of my past triumphs. Yes, I have every confidence in my deductions. The hero we seek shall be found in the field by the coffer and coffin, sowing seeds most like. If your blood not racing with anticipation, let us be about the business of hero making, shall we? All right. Most excellent, Sayali. Make your way to the coffer and coffin, and I will n be not a moment behind you. First, I must inform Master Owly Wrangler of our impending meeting with Irizia's savior. Ooh. Okay, let's chocobo. Mm. Or not. <laughs> that's goo boo. Goo boo, goo boo. To the coffin, coffers, right over there. Coffin, coffin. Interesting name. I'll have the music turned off. Oh, that's okay. Meteor showers? Yeah. Pretty awesome. Cactuars. Cute. And we're almost there. Pumpkin patch. Very nice. Ah, my fine associate. We have now but to wait for our hero to make an appearance. <laughs> Why do I seem so happy? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Perhaps Brass or a hero is yet working his way up to it? What we got here then? You folk have the look of adventurers. A good day to you, sir. I am Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, and spectre extraordinaire. And what, if I may be so bold, has brought you out of doors on this most faithful of days? Why, I be sowing pumpkin seeds in that there field, Mr. Hildebrand. Times past, I'd put out practice in me sword play, but me old bones ain't what they once was. Sowing seeds? Practicing sword play? Could it be? Have we found our hero at last? Gaha! The lasses in town used to call me hero back in my younger days. Got quite a dashing figure I did. Then it is true, good sir, our savior! Your mighty sword arm is needed once more. The verses of the prophecy sing of your valor and urge you to defend Eorzea from the ever-growing menace of Dalamud. It is your duty, sir. It is your destiny. Dalamud? You need good soil to grow pumpkins, lad. Matter of fact, I could do with a stout lad like yourself to help me finish planting these seeds. I done me back in chasing off them bloody bombs, you see. Always floating in they are, fixing to make craters out of me poor fields. Our savior is injured? Then you will doubtless need time to recuperate prior to setting off on your heroic journey. Time during which I should be honored to assist you. 
Uh, hmm. Maybe I'll have the young lady here sprinkle the field with some of this ash mixture. I call it Bombane. It's made from the remains of bombs, in case you're wondering. Hey, the living kind can't abide the smell of it. You'd best keep it away from open flames and sparks, mind you. The mixture's what a scholarly mate of mine calls highly combustible. Boom! <laughs> Alright, let's do some sprinkling. Sprinkle some ashes. That's kind of interesting. A bag of Bombay. And last bit. Complete. I hope this is what the quests are like in A Realm Reborn. It's better than just leaves all the time. <laughs> Good sir, both seeds and ash have been duly distributed across the field. Have they now? Well, that's a load off my poor back. Set a spell and I'll see what I can rustle up by a way of thanks. Now this here blade is the one I used to swing back in me adventuring days. Don't see much use no more. Might serve you better, Mr. Hildebrand. A hero's blade? For me? I cannot take such a magnificent sword with my hands, yet caked in ash and stray seeds. Seed and ash and a hero sword. Hmm. Stray seeds, ash, and a valiant blade. Surely this could not mean that the hero spoken of in prophecy. Biz me? <laughs> Good sir, can it be that you have chosen me, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, to be your successor? Gasp, but of course! You sent me this quest of seeds and ash to open my eyes to this, my true calling. <laughs> or not. Stray seeds quicken in ash's gray embrace, the valiant blades forge under the twelve's good grace. Master Yu Lianger, the words you recite seems so clear to me now. I shall not turn away from the path of the hero. A hero? Any man who would stand fast in the face of implacable destiny may rightly claim the name, a warrior or no. Do this, and thou sh too shalt deserve the title. Exactly. One cannot ignore the will of destiny. I shall encounter myself for the journey ahead at once. A kutcher. A kutcher. <laughs> Inspector, if you're off on some sort of adventure, I've got some old armor line around here somewhere, which you can have, and all. Always knew Inspector Hildebrand was a hero, but saving the whole world? Cor, I feel faint just thinking about it. Or maybe it's the heat. Keep your distance! Them are the bombs that have been scorching me poor pumpkins. The pumpkins? We can't let them destroy the pumpkins. Be at ease, my easily flappable friends. For the chosen one of destiny walk now walks among you. A few mundane bombs cannot hold a candle to the roaring inferno of my valor. Back, friends. You are no match. Gentleman Hero Hildebrand. Oh my goodness. Behold, they flee at the mere mention of my name, such as the power of the truly courageous. 
Looks like them bombs got a good whiff of that ash you scattered for me. Oh. My ever loyal associate, it is time I set forth on my journey. I shall become the hero Eorzea needs and liberate the people from the chains of Delamont's terror. I would like for you to hold on to this pair of mandrel earrings, please I insist. My family deals in jewelry and our vaults overflow with such bubbles. The days ahead of me promise much hardship and battle, but these earrings are a symbol of my solemn vow to return to you in triumph. Now, if I could only secure a means of transportation to Delamont's surface. I'll go with you, Inspector. Oh, goodness. Nashu, where did you find that spear? It was buried in the field. Oh, that. That'd be a tool I bought off a merchant from Corthas a while back. I was planning on using it to break up clods in my field, see? But if I went up to the task, and it, but it weren't up to the task, and I just sort of left it to rest. <laughs> Great. What a curious spear this is. The blade is rather chipped. It may in fact be nothing more than a child's toy. Oh ho, is this a musket barrel I spy? Whoa. It appears to be jammed with ash. Perhaps if I just tug on the trigger here. Inspector, whatever you do, don't. Oh my god, that is so cool. Uh. <laughs> bomb ash. Mommy! What the heck? Another sign from the gods. This device will surely propel me all the way to the red moon. My fair companions... Gentleman hero Hildebrand is on the case! What? Oh my god, this is so... Inspector, wait, I'm coming with you! Pokemon-ish. Stray seeds quicken in Ash's gray embrace. The valiant blades forge on the Twelve's good grace. In prophecy are my myriad truths concealed. The eye of man decreeth which shall be revealed. Gentleman hero Hildebrand, a thou art but one valiant blade among many. <laughs> that was weird. That's very Team Rocket from Pokemon. Uh, Pokemon. But anyway. <laughs> nice music. <gasps> and that's that. I think that's the end of it. I wonder if there'll be more. <laughs> I wonder if there'll be more in the next patch, if that's it, but pretty good. This, the song at the end suggests that may be the end of it, but... Until a brown reborn, but that's pretty awesome. Look at the sky, isn't that beautiful? It's really nice. Okay, well, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed this recording of the amazing, the extraordinaire Inspector Hildebrand. See you guys next time.